I'm filming through a window because I don't want to disturb him. And unfortunately the window is pretty clean and these cameras can do an amazing job of shooting through windows. I have the screen removed just for this purpose though. You gotta remember to remove the screens. That's the mail. I wouldn't be surprised. This is, should be about nesting time. It's middle of April. Up here in the mountains of North Carolina, they should be in the nesting process. I know the woodpeckers in Florida are starting to get serious about nesting. Well, that's the male. Look at that bright red crest and that impressive cheek patches. Beautiful bird. There's just something about, you know, I can never pick my favorite bird. I love all the birds, but there's just something about the arrival of a pileated woodpecker that's just so, just so impressive and exciting. They are big birds. Somewhere back in the woods behind the house is their nest, and I need to go back there and see if I can find it. There's a number of rotten trees back there. Big storms. Oh, like oh, over ten years ago, we had a series of big storms that topped out a bunch of trees and left a lot of rotten trees standing, especially eastern hemlocks. And they're always back there pecking away. I need to go back there and see if I can find their nest. It's really important, if you can, to leave dead trees and snags alone because it really attracts the birds. Oh, look at a big grub he's got there. Look at that. Whoa! That is protein right there. Nice. No, if he's got... If they have, I don't know, it's probably too early to have chicks. I'm sure they have a nest made with eggs. They may have chicks, but... A big juicy grub like that, he may have just kept it in his crop or either give it to the female or feed it to the chicks. What a gorgeous creature. Look at that big old, whoa, boy. That's a big grub right there. 
So that's why they're really going after this stump. If you can, just let nature take its course. Let the bugs lay eggs in there and let the grubs start going and then bring in the birds. He's going to be real popular with Mrs. Woodpecker if he takes those grubs back to her. <laughs> the crows coming over. That's a good example. You can see that the, of course, the crows up here in the mountains are pretty big, but uh, some people sometimes think they're ravens, but they're not. Ravens are huge. And while I'm sitting here shooting the woodpecker, I've got a chickadee in my window feeder pecking away. And the crow's checking out the crow's thinking, oh, maybe this woodpecker's onto something. And actually, the crow's looking at spilled seed under the deck. I love these guys.
Yeah, he's excited about something there. It's like finding a gold seam. He knows there's going to be a big juicy grub down there somewhere. <laughs> 